The question is this, do I need a LinkedIn account in order to create and use a LinkedIn company page? I'm going to give you the answer in this video, but before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button. It's the only payment that I expect. So it's a beautiful day in central North Carolina. I'm out on the patio. So here's the answer to the question. A, you have to have a personal LinkedIn profile in order to create a company page. There's, uh, first of all, it's the only entry point into LinkedIn is through logging into your personal profile. And once you're logged into your personal profile, what I recommend you do is do not create a, a personal profile or even do not create a fake profile with the intent of creating a company page. That would not be wise to do. Use your personal profile, but build your profile out. Start connecting with people on LinkedIn and start sharing or engaging on content. That shows the algorithms, the AI of LinkedIn that you are using your LinkedIn profile before you click on work and click on create a company page. And when you go to create a company page, you get three types. You can create a company, which has employees, you can create a showcase page, which are generally sub pages associated with the company page. And or you can create an educational institution, which is schools and universities. But again, create your personal profile, start building and using and networking with your profile before you click on create a company page or whatever page. One other point of interest, and that is once you create a company page, you could go in and manage the admin rights on that. And you could make someone else a super admin or make multiple people super admins. And then once you uh, give other people super admin rights, you could remove yourself totally from that page from an administrative perspective so that you're no longer associated with it from that perspective. Now, the other question is, does my LinkedIn profile slash name need to be publicly associated with a company page? And the answer is no, it does not have to be. Now, if when I share content from the super admin view, I'm sharing content as the company, not as Teddy Burris. The only way for my name to show up on this page is when I view as member. When I go here and I do one of two things, either let me go back to post. Either I engage as Teddy on this content then my name could become associated with this LinkedIn company page. Doesn't mean I'm an employee, doesn't mean I created it. However, it does show that I'm associated to it in some way or another. That's the first way to be associated, by engaging on the content. The second way that you can be associated with a company page in some way or another, or a school page for that matter, is when you add the company page to your experience. Now this would indicate that you worked for the company. Doesn't mean you created the page, but it does show relevance and indicate that you had something to do with it because you worked there. Or you add the school page to education and again, that is gonna show relevance. Now, by the way, there is one other way for you to be associated with the page. And that is for you to uh, have uh, uh, show a, a, a license and certifications. So when you add license and certifications, you could, again, show relevance to that company. Doesn't mean you're an employee at this point. Doesn't mean you created the page, but it does show relevance. So let me summarize. You need a personal profile to create a company page. You should start using the profile first before you go to create the page. Your name will never show up associated with that company page unless you a engage on that company page content or b add that company or school to your linkedin profile in some way or another i'm teddy burris your linkedin sales navigator strategist trainer and coach and i hope this is helpful for you